Welcome to Behind the Scenes. Morning. Tell us what's going on in this production. What happens in this story? So I'm a brat to my mom. I want a lot of things, and we uh, we're not doing the best financially. But I guess I'm not fully aware of that, and I just want everything. I want the new PlayStation Five. I pretty much get reprimanded, and I realize why my mom is like saving and being cautious it's because of something that happened in the family that I'm not gonna say. So you gotta go watch if you wanna find out. Action. Are you okay? I don't have any money. And honestly, I I wanna be able to get my car. It's just, I, I wanna get Troy's Christmas present out of there. And good, nice. Welcome to Misery's Toy Yard, where we're really, really miserable. I'm so miserable, I made a nail appointment. 50 bazillion a day. Hello? The y they're always yelling. You just have to tell them to calm, calm, calm yourself down. Action! When you're having a breakdown, ladies, all you do is take your breakdown blender and wipe it on up. It will add highlights and it will give you a glow. Hello, breakdown blender. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you kept the tears flowing even when it wasn't your coverage. Is that it? You just... I, sometimes it's an accident. It just con continues to go, you know? You get those emotions going and it's like a will. <laughs> Dante, what's your favorite Christmas song? I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus underneath the mistletoe last night. What's your favorite Christmas song? Happy Holidays. Yes. That one comes to mind. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fall on your knees. <laughs> <laughs> what would John Legend sound like singing Let It Snow? Well, the weather outside is frightful, and the fire is so delightful. Oh. And then we know blaze of gold. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Yeah. All right, it's uh, Melvin and Mini Melvin. Yeah. I actually gained uh, 10 pounds just this week. I've been bulking because I'm, you know, Mini Melvin. It's actually Big Devin, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, we're gonna get it, you see me? Yeah. You feel me? We're gonna just put some pranks on people. Yeah, you know. Let's go ahead and let's get it. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm Rebecca Ritz. And I'm Catherine Norland. And we met for the first time today. I'm at the movie theater for a movie premiere for another movie I'm in. And this woman comes up to me. Oh my gosh, I know you from Dharma. I, my favorite role of yours was when you did the bank teller who won't give the black guy a loan. I said no. Uh, you know you're confused. Um, we, we've got to do. We've got to do the battle of the Karens and the Kens. Okay, so this is Karen in line at Starbucks, and they got her order all wrong. What do you think you're doing? Don't you know? Don't you know what I normally get? Oh my God. <laughs> yes, this is in character. You ordered uh, something at Subway, and they gave you less Subway. change than you were owed. Excuse me. Excuse me. You gave me four dollars and eighty-four cents. I'm supposed to get $4.85. Do you not know how to count? Oh no, no, you are not a sandwich artist. You are a sandwich thief. You were denied a credit card because you have too many credit cards. What do you mean you're not giving me another credit card? I have 15. You have a lay layaway order at JCPenney and you were supposed to pick it up today, but they sold it to someone else. <laughs> you sold my order? that I had on layaway to somebody else? Somebody whose name isn't Karen? Somebody whose name is not written on this layaway slip that I have right here? You know what, let me speak to your manager. I need to speak to your manager. <laughs> okay guys, this game is called Press Conference. Each one of you guys is gonna take turns playing a celebrity and we're gonna ask you questions, but you won't know what celebrity you're playing. It's a guessing game. How did you feel when you were getting built? It was kind of a daunting process, but once I saw the finished product, I was, I was quite happy with it. Did you have a team deciding your wardrobe for you? I did have a team of about eight people, um, but they really took my input. Why you got so much drip? <laughs> Why do I have so much drip? Um, I really wanted to just drip all over the place. Um, living in LA, do you ever get scared it'll be too hot out to survive? Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. Um, Why are carrots your favorite vegetable? I mean, I smell it all the time. Mm. <laughs> so it's just what I like, but like, it also is kind of getting warm in here. So as Frosty the Snowman, I really need to leave. Why don't you want a lot for Christmas? 
I'm not a very materialistic person. So what do you do on all the other holidays? Uh, mostly just sleep, sometimes retail therapy. How do you handle uh, fans that during this time of the year just see you on the streets and ask you to sing that song? It used to be my favorite thing to do, but over the years, uh, I wish people would pay me for it. What was it like being married to Nick Cannon? He's a lovely man, but uh, as Mariah Carey, I have better things to do with my time. What advice would you give to someone else who's a little different? You know, just being yourself and letting that shine through. So, I know that you're, uh, you're all over the world. What's your favorite language to speak? I love to speak the language of love. I think everybody can agree you had quite a bit of pressure on you. So how did you handle that going into such a big moment? I don't think a lot of people would know this, but as Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, I meditate a lot. Do you ever dress up like everybody's favorite character that you played? Yeah, I, I do for the most part. Um, you have uh, an immaculate head of hair. How do you, uh, how do you keep it so um, buoyant? Baby oil, next question. Do you feel inferior to Pete Davidson? I mean, I'm a little shorter than Pete Davidson, but I mean, I, I, I like to say that I'm not. So, you're iconic, especially this time of year. How did you prepare for such a tall, great role? I mean, as Ariana Grande, I, I'm a pretty fit chick. Nope, that was pretty awesome. Did you actually have to drink the entire liter of soda? That was all movie magic. That was all CGI stuff. It was halfway through. So, tell us more about that new project you have with Paul Rudd. So the shrink next door, it's very far off from what I've done in Elf, you know, as Will Ferrell. <laughs> Why that color? Um, it just goes with my skin color, I just loved it. Why do you have so much things against people? I just never liked people, it was just how I grew up, it was how I was raised. You have such a loyal companion. How did you develop a friendship being, you know, who you are? Threats, threats, and um, money probably. How do you afford all that mountaintop real estate? Money. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Um, a lot of people tell me that I laugh a lot like you, and I just wanted to get your opinion. <laughs> if you say so and people say so, then probably yeah. When did that rivalry with Santa start? Because he was hating on me because of my, my green skin, you know? And, you know, he wanted the green, you know, the crunchness of me, you know? And... So, Ruben, what happened to the window? So, we bought this car just so that we can have a lower income car for our scripts. But I figured instead of doing it in visual effects or trying to make it seem like the glass is broken, why not just actually break it and replace a window? You know, it's actually going to be cheaper, and so that's what we did. Did yeah. you break it on the first try? Uh, yeah, first try. <laughs> no, he's lying! First. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, reset. It was a second Yo, try, only hey, because everyone, everyone was telling me, hit it softly. <laughs> and I was like, all right, oh, fine. Oh, so it wasn't first but try. But I couldn't let so, the see? second try not see? break. See that saying? was not going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, that's perfect. For this game, you have to guess this Christmas movie based on three clues. Thievery. Okay. House. Little boy. Home Alone. Yes, good job. Saint Nick. Contract. Transformation. Saint Nick. Oh, Grinch? The Grinch? Nope. No. Contract? That's the thing that's getting me. Santa Claus. The Santa Claus. The Santa Claus, it is! Scary. Okay. Bones. Bones. Singing. Oh my gosh, Bones singing. I'm literally thinking of that Halloween movie. I'll give you one more hint. <laughs> Tim Burton. See, all these names and people are supposed to mean something to me, but I... All right, help her out. Nightmare, Nightmare Before, Before Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Bell, train, motion capture. Oh my God. Polar Express? Yes. Ghosts, rude, graveyard. Sorry, you're moving out. Um, the, 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 the Ebenezer Scrooge. I don't know what a Christmas Carol. Yes, good job. <laughs> Leg, glasses, BB gun. A Christmas story. Yes, good. Vacation, grumpy, cancel. Vacation, grumpy, cancel. Oh, um, Christmas with the Cranks? Yeah! <gasps> Walnut, statue, magic. The Nutcracker. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> New York, okay. tall. Elf. Yes. <laughs> yeah, good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now let's play Explain That Thumbnail woman is trying to see the bug that landed on her nose. 
lady wants to get on Santa's bad list. <laughs> Man tries to take gifts from the charity drive. <laughs> lady with sweet tooth bites off more than she can chew. <laughs> Christmas gone wrong. Somebody put jalapenos on a fruitcake. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what I got for Christmas. All caps, 14 exclamation points. Viral video right there. It's the Christmas season. Love you for a reason. I'ma get you, yeah, I'm hopping, I got all the trees in. I'ma get you, Don Man Studios in the crew. I'ma tell you that I did this for a year, I'm not new. Um, yeah, we making all these videos. I be going to New York where it's gonna snow. I'ma have a white Christmas this year. I'ma go down, I'ma run like a deer. Uh, uh, and my uncle Liz. He's so crazy, it's a maybe, and I told you stop. I done told you to stop. I done told you to pause. Uh, uh. I'm Santa Claus. Hey! Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. You is on my wish list. And I told you that you know that I am not dishing school. And you know people using me like a tool. Uh, hey, darn man, fam rules. It's not about that special toy that you want. It's about bringing some sort of peace to someone who's less fortunate than you. Volunteer to do something. There's that old woman that lives down the block that always smiles at you, that you've known since you were little. Make her some cookies. Take them down there with a smile and say, happy holidays, something. Give back to somebody, because it's called karma, love, and family. That's why it should not be your registration. Seriously? I still don't get why you won't just let that help us. Please, stop asking me There's that. There's your car. They stole my son's Christmas gift. Do you have any idea what I went through to get you a present? I want to go live with that. 